Hey, what's up, guys? I've got a cool uh, quick unboxing for you. This is, as you can see, this is the Blues Brothers uh, Steelbook. This is not, I don't think, limited anything. It says limited edition up there, but that's nothing. Um, I originally thought this was a um, Best Buy exclusive, but it doesn't say that anywhere, so I'm assuming it is not exclusive. Um, this is like the third or fourth Blues Brothers Steelbook they've released, at least the third. And, um, shit. I, I, I've, I've never liked the designs of them, the previous ones, and I've never bought it. I have actually never seen this full movie. I've seen the beginning, or the middle parts of it, um, multiple times with them in the police station and whatnot. But, shit. That's, that's the only sticker. Look at that. That's the only piece of glue on that. That little blotch. Which actually is fine with me. It's less to take off. Yeah, I like that. That was pretty easy. Cool. Hey, anyway, what was I saying? Um, so yeah, I haven't seen the full film, and I'm looking forward to actually watching it now. This was um, twelve ninety nine, something like that. It was fifteen bucks or less, I forget. Which, again, is a little expensive considering it's a multiple release film that's been released over and over again. Um, this one comes with a digital copy though, so at least I can have that. It's a single disc, and it's a regular... I'm assuming this is the exact same Blu-ray they've used multiple times, so... And there is uh, Jake and Elwood, right? Yeah. Jim Belushi and Dan Aykroyd. Is that a design? Okay, yeah, it's his foot. Um, I, I just like the color scheme of this one, as opposed to the blue one which just had their their faces, or their, their, their fists on it and the microphone or something. I forget what that one was. It was very minimalist. I didn't care for it. This one I don't mind. I wish there was better artwork here on the disc, but it's universal and this is the best they do. I will save this. It is the theatrical and extended versions of the film. I could, I'm, 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 I could read this, but I think everyone's probably seen this. I want to see. You can pause there if you want to read it. And then the special features. Again, I'm assuming this is the exact same disc they've released multiple times, so. Stories behind the making of, transporting music, and remembering John, of course. 1980. And this is from 2000, well, 2018, of course, but uh, that's what we're not going to say. Cool beans. Whoops, shit. Whoop. Just knocking things over. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Very simple unboxing, very quick. Um, I got this at Best Buy. I, like I said, it didn't say exclusive on here, so I'm assuming it's available at Amazon and Target and whatnot. But, um, and like I said, I paid about $12.99 for it or something. I forget. Not a whole lot, but more than, like, if you wanted to actually buy the film Blues Brother on Blu-ray, you could get that for ten, uh, like probably 6 bucks or less if you just want the film. But anyway... That's it, guys. Very quick. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around for more steel books and all kinds of crazy shit. So, uh, that's it. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and bye.